<sighs> What's going down, everyone? It's your boy on Total Boss here, and um, I'm playing headquarters here with one of my favorite guns, the AK-47, with the red dot on. And from the title of my video, uh, it's a suitable title um, because of the fact that I mean, I'm not even gonna say why. Uh, later on in the video, you guys will see why I titled it Rage Quitters, um, because I pretty much uh, dominated this game, and these guys couldn't take it. So I'm playing headquarters here, and um. I'm using my favorite gun, and this is one of my favorite uh, game modes other than Domination, you know? And the reason why I say this is my favorite match is because of the fact that it gives you so much XP, and for those of you who like the prestige and all that, who are trying to do it a qu a easier way instead of just, like, uh, hacking or whatever, uh, I say play Headquarters, uh, make sure you use a strategy. I'm going to explain the strategy that I use, but I didn't really use it in this video, but... This, if you want to prestige quicker, I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you, have a good gun in your hand and play headquarters. This match, I mean, uh, one time I played this, uh, I played this, uh, I was playing uh, Call of Duty and then I played headquarters for like three straight matches and I got about like 9,000 every single game and I kept on winning, winning, winning with the strategy that I used. Now, um, here's how I play headquarters. What I do is I get a tactical insertion, you know, I forgot to insert it in this game. But I get a tactical insertion, and what I do is I always plan it near the headquarters. Uh, so that when I die, uh, I would just respawn back and then just go at the headquarters and capture it or defuse it, whatever. This strategy always works. Um, something that also you got to consider when you're using a tactical insertion is, is putting it in a spot where they can't see it. Because when they see it, they just sit there and camp there. The opponents just would just stop their entire match and just wait for you to respawn just for that one kill just to get on your nerves. I don't know. I don't get it at all. I mean, they have an opportunity to capture the flag, but no, they just sit there and wait for you to respawn where your tactical insertion is. So definitely use a tactical insertion and have a powerful gun in your hand because often time, like when you're capturing the headquarters, you're going to come face to face with someone. And if you don't have the, uh, the appropriate gun, you're going to get owned half the time. So I'm using the AK-47 here. It's a great gun. Uh, it's powerful. I'm doing a lot of damage early on in the game. Um, and uh, also something else that uh, is good about this game is uh, I might be able to. I'm on level 50 right now, so I need like uh, I think it was 3,000 XP, and I'm uh, sure enough I'm gonna get it in this match. So um, we'll see if I'm gonna prestige or not. As you can see I did get my eight kill streak, um, and I have my uh, chopper gunner right now, and. The chopper gunner is good, but in some maps, it's just really, really frustrating because of the fact there's all these buildings that you have to come across. Like, for this, for a great example is here in this building right here. I mean, you can fight, you can pick off an opponent right there, and then all your opponents are on the other side of the map instead of being a map where all these guys are on one side of the map, you know? Like, having everyone on one side instead of, like, around the buildings. And maps like these are frustrating when you're using a chopper gunner, in my opinion, because you, you have to, like, um... Wait for your helicopter to go on the other side, and it's just really tough sometimes because your helicopter will be on one side and your opponents are on the other side. But I get about like six or seven kills here, probably less. Another thing that I wanted to say to you guys is um, I haven't really been playing with a lot of my subscribers, um, and um, something that I will have in mind is for you guys sort of to do an open lobby. But I just really don't get how an open lobby works. So here's a question that I'm going to ask you guys. If I do an open lobby and if I want to invite someone who's not on my friends list, so let's say like someone leaves me the gamer tag and they're not on my friends list, how, will I be able to invite them to a lobby? That's one question I'm going to ask you guys. And if if I find out how to do all these stuff like open lobbies and stuff, because right now all I can do is invite my subscribers to a party and I'm going to start doing that in a couple of weeks. But I wanted to know if, if I don't have someone on my friends list, um, is there any way I can just put their gamer tag down, like write it somewhere? And then invite them to a, to a, my, one of my matches without having to add them. So it'll be great if you guys answer that question because it's going to be really helpful. Now before you start asking when I will have these uh, open lobbies. I wanted to say that the only way you could really find out is by following me on Twitter. Because I will update all these uh, information on Twitter. For example, if I were, let's say I get up one day and I'm like alright I feel like doing an open lobby today. I would just tweet about it. And then have you guys retweet me or reply back, like send me a message saying, here's my gamer tag and I will get like the first, however, however many people I'm, I'm allowed to invite and we'll just switch, start switching off, you know? Um, so yeah, uh, if you don't know how to follow me on Twitter, it's in the link. Make sure you create a Twitter, uh, uh, Twitter account and then it, uh, my Twitter name is in the description box. So just click on it and then follow me and, um, 
whenever I'm going to do an open lobby, I'll just tweet about it and let you guys know. And then you guys will send me a gamer tag and I'll invite you. But first, let me know how I can do open lobbies. Like how I can invite people that are not on my friends list. And the only reason why I am doing this on Twitter is because of the fact that um, if I sit here and tell you guys, alright, I'll, I'll do open lobbies on Mondays or whatever. If I put a schedule on that, then um, I might not be able to uh, fulfill that schedule. You know, I might not be able to do it that day. You know, something comes up. I'm not going to be able to do it. And then you guys are going to be mad. So I think it's better if I uh, actually just post it on my Twitter. Uh, whoever sees it, sees it, you know, instead of like saying, oh, I'm going to do it Mondays and then. If I'm not able to do it on a Monday, you guys will get mad, you know, not get mad, but like you guys will be like, all right, you said Monday, but you, you didn't actually do it. So I think it's better uh, to do it um, uh, as as like doing it on Twitter, because therefore, whenever I have time to do it, you know, I'll update you guys. So make sure you create an account and follow me on Twitter. The link is in the description box. And, you know, I'm not a really big fan of the RC, you know, um, I die from the RCs like I think half of my kills are from being a. Uh, from death of an RC, you know, they always get me. I feel like whenever the guy, uh, whenever you know, whenever the RC is out, you know how the guys like enemy RCs on the way, whatever. Whenever that happens, I'm like, all right, they're gonna get me. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have feeling have been feeling the same way, you know. I feel like the only that's the only person they kill is me, the RC. You know, I'm never gonna get an RC. I'm never gonna look at an RC at Toys R Us or whatever. RCs I hate, but the only reason why I'm using the RC is because of the fact that. I want to get my anger out on these guys. You know, they've been getting me my entire time I've been playing Call of Duty Black Ops, so why not? I'm going to start using the RC and getting them, you know? They've got me with the RC, now I want to get them, sort of get my anger out. But really, I'm not a big fan of the RC. I hate the RC. So here, as you can see, we're pretty much dominating the flag right now. 175 nothing. I'm pretty much racking up a lot of XP. And it's a good thing because of the fact that you know, I'll complete my level 50 now. I'll get enough XP to prestige if I'm going to prestige. I don't know yet. But um, as you can tell, no one from the other team is capturing. None of us is capturing. And from the radar, you can see there's like about three guys left. I'm not really particularly sure how many were left during the match. But uh, something, that should, something that should pop in your head is how I got these guys to leave. Because a lot of them have been leaving this match. And one, one of the reasons is because I've been killing most of them. And... Uh, these guys are rage quitting that's all and another reason is because my team is pretty much dominating them i mean they're not getting any points they're dying so why would they stay in the match as you can see there's three guys left one is not even playing oh and someone else is leaving right now and this pretty much annoys me whenever you're having a good game someone leaves it doesn't get any more frustrating than that because why would you do that you know it's really annoying something else that i hate is when the match ends when that picture of the plug host migration whatever comes up, I really hate it. And here's a little entertainment for you guys, me failing. You know, I try to knife him, but I just remember there's no commando in this game, and I pretty much fail right there. Um, So, yeah, there's pretty much no action going on right now. We're not capturing it at all. I guess we're trying to leave them to capture it so that we can get kills. Um, Nothing really going on right now. I can't find anybody. There's, like, about two guys left in this match. Um, So, yeah, I'm not getting any kills right now at all. But if it wasn't for that, I would have racked up more kills. But hey, what can you say? Um, here we are. I'm just trying. And look, someone, the last guy leaves. There was actually one guy left in the lobby. I thought it was two guys left, but now one guy left. And this is this is getting ridiculous right now. I uh, I, I hate rage quitters. Really, I really do. With passion, with great passion, because they pretty much ruin the game for you. So now it's just us left. So we're trying to capture here so we can get some points. But as you can see, the game is being forfeited to us um, and really disappointing. But we get a victory and we make everyone in our team quit. We win this headquarters match 180 to nothing. And I get enough XP to complete level 50. So hey guys, on to the boss, signing out.